So some of you may not even know this right now, but Apple is still currently selling an iPhone 11 Pro and actually a few models of the iPhone 11 Pro and the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Now you might be wondering why this is even important or why they're even doing this in the first place. Well, for one, the reason why this is important is because these are older iPhones that are probably one of the best iPhones Apple has ever made. I think in general, the newer ones, the newest ones are the best ones, but this one, I mean, they did a lot of changes and these iPhones are probably some of the oldest iPhones that hold up extremely well against the latest iPhones. So that is also a big thing to keep in mind. So I like that a lot. I like how they're still selling these iPhones, but the reason why they're doing it and you know where they're doing it is in the certified refurbished market. Funny enough, these are the only iPhones I ever see on their certified refurbished store. They are going up and selling up to the 13 Pro Max, but they only sell them as they're available. After that, they pretty much will drop them and then if they're sold, they're sold. There's really not much you can do about it. But every time I make my way over to their certified refurbished you know, store, which still has an iPhone 7 Plus as their main image up here, you can basically see that we have a ton of iPhone 11 Pros and 11 Pro Maxes for sale. Now they're not really like the best value of all time because you can definitely get them in the used market for much cheaper than these. But if we just take a look at like an iPhone 11 Pro Max, a 64 gigabyte variant, I mean, $629 for this or $649 for this is really not that bad of a price. And you could actually kind of change the storage out too if you want to expand the storage. It's almost like buying a brand new iPhone 11 Pro Max, which is so crazy. Now, normally I only see these iPhones available in the certified refurbished market. It. Sometimes you may be able to find some other iPhones too, but realistically speaking, for the last like six months since the iPhone like 14s have came out, kind of, I've only been seeing iPhone 11 Pros and 11 Pro Maxes for sale. Not even iPhone 11s, 12s, 12 Pros, 12 Pro Maxes. None of those iPhones. So it's very interesting to me that Apple is consistently selling this specific iPhone over the other ones. Now on top of that, you know, as I mentioned before. The build quality of these iPhones are very, very good. A certified refurbished iPhone 11 Pro Max is going to be almost like a brand new one. So this is as close to, you know, if you're not buying a brand new iPhone 11 Pro right now, this is probably as close as you can get to buying a you know, brand new iPhone 11 Pro. Now on top of that, like I mentioned, I think some of these values are pretty decent. But if you're going to buy like a 512 gigabyte, you know, 11 Pro, or you're going to buy even a 128 gigabyte 11 Pro, you may want to look for an iPhone 12 or one of those types of iPhones, because those might end up being a better, you know, deal for the most part than one of these, you know, certified refurbished ones from Apple. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit the subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.